Many of you know that I have an addiction to Mountain Dew, and you might have wondered what I do with all of those aluminum cans. Well, giving you an opportunity to buy them in the form of intercoolers. No, this isn't actually made from salvaged Mountain Dew cans. Well, it might be. I have no idea where the, the manufacturer actually gets the aluminum, but this is an intercooler for an R56 Mini Cooper. R56s are the 2007 coupes to present. Uh, it may fit other models. I have to check which models it will fit. I believe it will fit the Clubman and certain ones of the convertibles, but primarily the R56 Mini Cooper was the target. Um, it's an aluminum intercooler to replace the aluminum intercooler that it comes factory stock. Uh, it's shiny silver. Uh, it is 250% of the original surface area compared to the, you know, the stock and 150% of the volume. Because it is a stepped size, it fits in place of the original very well, but has a lot more forward exposure. So you're going to get more air from the road passing across it. If you don't know how an intercooler works, basically what happens is that the hot side comes off of the turbo and it acts like a radiator, except instead of doing water, it's doing air. And so the hot air that's coming from the turbo passes through these channels and the fins act as heat sinks so that you can suck the heat out of the hot turbo air and compress it by cooling it so that you can push more volume of air through. So your turbo works more efficiently and the temperature of the air that's coming out is often 15 to 20 degrees cooler than what the air that went into it was. Now that's a factor of how cool the outside air is. Here in Phoenix, where it's 100 degrees all the time, you're not going to get as much drop as the day that you're driving on the track in Detroit and it's 35 degrees. But the idea really is that more surface area means that you're going to exchange more heat with the atmosphere and a larger volume means that you are going to add less restriction so more air can pass through without having to make your turbo work as hard. That means that you can pass more air that is cooler air, denser air, and you're going to get all those kinds of benefits that people talk about when they do a cold air return on their, I'm sorry, cold air intake on their car in that you're going to push a denser air in so that you can run a more gasoline into the cylinder and therefore make more horsepower. The horsepower that your car makes is basically a function of the pounds of air that are passed through it per minute. And at 10 pounds of air, like literally weight pounds of air per minute equals uh, 100 horsepower. So that's how you look at how much you can get is when you get to 25 pound minutes of air, you have the ability to make 250 horsepower. Um, so this is one of the factors that determines the efficiency of your turbo. So if your turbo is rated for 22 PSI, it's also rated for X number of pounds per minute of air. The one that comes stock on the Mini Cooper makes 24 pound minutes of air. And by reducing some of the restriction, we should be able to push that to almost 200, I'm sorry, almost 26 pound minutes of air at the same 22 PSI. And so we should be able to see somewhere between seven and 10 horsepower improved on the Mini Cooper just by swapping this. Now, because we're also reducing the restriction of the airflow, we should see better gas mileage if we're not driving it like we stole it. One of the challenges that I have with my Mini Cooper is if I drive in a nice, slow, meandering manner and think about what I'm doing, I can get 45 miles to the gallon. If I drive it like I stole it, I get 26. So this will help in both cases. Um, when I want to get 50 miles to the gallon, this will help me get there. When I want to get 22 miles to the gallon, this will help me get there. And it really is about your driving stop. But the more efficient you can make the air pass through your car, the more horsepower you can get and the better fuel economy you can get.
just by changing your driving style.